Hello, hello, and welcome to Accent on Cars. Today I decided to make a special Thanksgiving episode because it's Thanksgiving. I want to extend my deepest and sincere gratitude to all of you for watching my videos, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting. So you are the best. And also we're going to take this bad boy out on the road for a ride. As you know, I've made some exhaust modifications. So we're going to let that M156 scream. There's going to be quite a bit of exhaust clips in this video. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's, it's a rainy and somewhat wet day, so I have to be careful to not kill myself, but I'll try to spin that bad boy to all the way to 7 to 200 RPMs as much as I can. Uh, anyway, I wanted to start with saying thank you to all of you for watching my videos, for commenting, for hitting that like button. Special appreciation goes out to those who hit that like button after they watch the video, they like it, they find it entertaining or useful to them. So do something good, please smash that like button for me, subscribe, it's free and it helps me a lot. My, my gratefulness to you isn't going to be limited by just words. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a giveaway, so here's another one guys. I'm giving away some nice gifts, so there will, there will be three winners. We have a 50 box Amazon gift card that will go out to one winner. We have a dash cam, uh, two, like two-way dash cam that records both the front of and the rear of the car. And the third prize is wireless earphones. So the price of each gift is approximately 100 to 50 bucks. Uh, and the rules are pretty simple. Just make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and send me a screenshot proving that you've liked the video and you subscribe to the video to my email address that you're gonna see on the screen below. Let's take a look at the engine. Here it is, the magnificent M156. Sorry guys, it's a little dust in here. I have to wipe this off, but this engine is a beast. My engine was built by Bondars, I think it says, N Bondars. If you have an M156 built by the same guy, let me know in the comments. Despite all the naysayers out there, this, this engine is a legend. It loves screaming to 7200 RPM. It's one of the best, if not the best sounding AMG ever made. All right guys, enough talking, let's go for a ride. While I was getting ready for, for hitting the road, it started, it started raining even harder. So I must be careful. So I'm gonna leave the traction control all the way on. I don't wanna turn it off because I don't wanna kill myself and I'm sure you don't want to see me killing myself in the videos so Thanksgiving Day or day after Thanksgiving are generally the best and the only single time of the year for enthusiasts and car guys why because a lot of people are sitting at their at their dinner table on Thanksgiving if you're gonna drive on Thanksgiving Day the best times after 3 to 4 p.m. because by then everybody are sitting by their dinner table already and devouring their, their turkey and the next day is usually again like early mornings are the best time usually the roads are and highways are just like as empty as it gets actually thanksgiving day itself is much better than the next day because you will see a lot less cops on the streets we are in the fifth gear down to fourth into third let's see if we have any traction looks like we have a decent amount of traction You are a legend. Yeah, these tires I have Michelin all season four. They are amazing for all season tires. I'm I'm legitimately surprised how much traction they're able to put down. If you haven't seen my videos, I've done autocross on them. I've done a track day. They just stick to the road, man, like a champ. I'll roll my windows down, hopefully wind noise isn't too much. <laughs> oh boy, we knew that the cars were going to be electrified and everything will, would be electrified. 
but the jump Mercedes did for C-Class from like V8 to straight to four cylinder is kind of a shock for most people, including myself, right? They, they have like 53 series, like E53 with like mild hybrid and straight six. It's like unclear why they couldn't put that engine into the C-Class. I doubt it's because they couldn't fit it. I, I think they, they just want us to accept the fact that, hey, this is the future, electric is the future, small engines or no, uh, internal combustion engines is the future accepted which is fine you know combined they say it makes like over 600 horsepower which is the the most powerful c-class ever on paper but most people buy 663s because they want to burn some tire anyhow the more i see videos like that the more grateful i am for old school v8 that i can do this with This engine is crazy man like 5000 rpm that's where most engines kind of like max out you in this car you get like to 5000 and the engine screams and you think to yourself that that's the limit it isn't you still have like 2200 rpms to go before you hit that rev limiter which in manual mode by the way it's a true manual in that if you hit the rev limiter you will bounce off it uh off of it you will not it will not upshift itself so let's slow down, put it into the second. Let's see if I can take it all the way to the red line. Zero, let's go. Traction control. Okay, I think that's enough. Among many things, I'm very grateful for, uh, the, to, for the people who watch my videos. They like, subscribe, and they leave comments. They, they express their support for my videos because I need that. You know, I make YouTube because it's, uh, it's a hobby for me. It's a good way for me to find local people, car guys, enthusiasts, and connect with them. So each of your like helps. I think that's enough for today. I hope you like this video entertaining. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share this video if you liked it to help others see it. And I'll see you in the future episodes. Happy Thanksgiving again and have a great rest of your day.